Good day, everyone. Thank you for logging on to Music Drama TV Radio, MusicDramaTV.net. I'm your host, B Skills. Today's topic is going to be about the South Carolina church shooting that took so many lives, so many loved ones. This has affected the world, community, and a lot of households. So stay tuned as we embark on the situation. <laughs> Thank you. Where do we start? How do we start? But for those that don't, that don't know, across the other side of the world, across the other side of the globe, a guy by the name of Dylan, Dylan Roof, age 21, walks into a South Carolina church during Bible studies, prayer service. And for what reason, I don't know, no one may ever know, opened fire in the church, killing nine people. Now, before I get deep into this, and before I unleash the audio of the victims expressing their feelings towards Mr. Roof, I just want to say one thing, one thing to you, Mr. Roof. There's no greater coward than a criminal who enters the house of God and slaughters innocent people. Coward, I say. What you did was a cowardly act. But I want to give a moment of silence for the nine, the nine lives, beautiful lives that were lost. So if you bear with me, Give me a moment of silence. Okay, let's get down to business. Mr. Roof, I want to talk to you. I want to talk to the families of Mr. Roof. What were you thinking? What is your problem? Why? There's so many questions. Will we ever get the answer? Will we ever get to the bottom line of what happened? What was going through your head when you woke up that morning and decided to take lives? But first of all, let me clear something up. Let's not turn this into a race crime. This is a people crime. This is a people crime. This is not black on white, white on black, a racial issue. No. Sometimes you got to put that to the side. You understand what I'm saying? So let the media portray a hate crime. This is a pure act of murder. Stupidity. Somebody that shouldn't have been allowed to be walking around the face of this earth with mental conditions. Who do I blame? I blame the family. I blame the family. I always... When I, when I have my shows, I touch down on important topics with the violence, young kids. And who do I blame? I blame the parents. You know your child. If you knew your child had a mental problem, get that man some help. Get that young boy, that young girl, young lady some help. Don't let them walk amongst civilized human beings with hopes of in the near future, there will be a tragedy. They will commit an act of crime that will change people's lives. You changed so many lives. You destroyed. Matter of fact, let me say, you played a big part of bringing down humanity. Yes, you did, Mr. Roof. I'm going to call you Mr. Roof. But you're a coward in my eyes. Yes, you are. These people were hard-working people. Whether they had a job or they were just stopping in to give their blessings to the Lord or to receive blessings. You walked into the house of God. No matter where you walked at, what you did was just stupid. I don't feel sorry for you. 
You deserve everything that comes towards you. Forgive me, God. I hate no one. But I call it like it is. You will be punished. You will be punished by a higher power. Not a law, not a court, not a judge, not a prosecutor can punish you the way you need to be punished. You affected so many families. So many people would never, ever get to see their loved ones. People that did good in the world, that stayed out of the crime life, that tried to do something positive to uplift and, and, and bring positive, positive energy to people. People that praise a higher power, wherever you believed in. And it hurts, Mr. Roof. It hurts. And the thing that made me so enraged, that brought pain to my heart, to see when they captured you, you had no remorse. You, 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 if you wanted to take some lives, take your own life. What did you do this for, brother? Huh? To, to, so it can go public and you can gain fame and with hopes of killing yourself and you go down in history? This is not history. This is a tragedy, brother. It hurts. It hurts bad. Now you have folks feeling like they can't go into a church to give thanks and praises and their blessings with the hopes of not coming home. People are really talking about bringing weapons into the house of the Lord. You understand what I'm saying? They're fearing for their life into a place where they think God. Think about it, Mr. Roof. In the Roof family. It burns, right? But let me tell you one thing. Let this be a lesson. Let, 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 let this be a lesson to everyone. We need to wake up. We need to stop this violence and this killing. We need to stop all this. We need to stop trying to be, trying to gain fame off of stupidity. Wanting things to go viral. Wanting to get noticed. You want to get noticed in this world? Do something good. Something positive. That's how you make history. That's how you leave your mark in a history book. How do you think these children feel? This is not a good image to be painting for someone to, 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 to remember growing up as a young kid. Wow. I can't go to church. I don't want to go to church. Kids, as it is today, don't want to go to church. Have a hard time going to church just because they think, oh, well, it's not a club. There's nothing to do in church. But this just making the situation worse. You understand what I'm saying to you? It hurts. I've spoken to a lot of people about this situation. And people don't know where to begin. Don't, don't know what to say because you wake up one day and you never expect something, to, something like this to happen. You don't know what's going to happen to you when you step outside your house these days. And 50% of the crimes takes place inside your house. Now you have to worry about going to a church, a store, a movie theater, amusement park, the doctor's office, to work, to school. Because we have these savages. Heartless savages, cowards, walking amongst us. 
putting a damper and a dent into our lives. Hurting our families. It's bad enough that the economy is tearing apart families. It's bad enough growing up in this society as a young woman and a young man facing trials and tribulations of violence each day trying to walk that straight path and you have to deal with this? I'm going to speak upon this. As a media blogger in the entertainment, my voice needs to be heard and I'm going to be the voice of people that's not speaking, that's not, that's afraid to speak. You know, the social media sites is flooded with this news. This is just flooding everything. But I have something for y'all today. My viewers and my listeners and my logons. I have something for you. I have I have the audio a family speaking to Mr. Roof as he is being read his charges. And you know the crazy thing about this? They forgive him. I'm not saying that it's wrong. But it's my belief. I would never forgive you. But these are children of God. We all are children of God. And people. Some people look at things different. Some people handle situations differently. And Mr. Roof. As they tell you. And speak to you. The pain that comes out their heart. And how they're feeling. How you change their lives. In the world. You sit there. Looking silly. And they're forgiving you. This is a no brainer. Government. Judges. Prosecutors. This is a no brainer. You don't need a trial. What do we need a trial for? He cold bloodedly killed these people. What do we need a jury for? Who in their right mind will represent this savage, this coward? Huh? I'm waiting. Let me gather myself. Let me gather my composure. Because stuff like this really touches me. I see young men and young women, young adults every day, not knowing if they're going to make it home. Because the violence, the guns, becoming a target, it's way past racial crime. It's way past that. It's just ignorance. My government. Why can't we do something about these weapons of mass destruction? Why are we allowing people to get gun licenses if you're not law enforcement or you're not in the military? Why are we permitting people with permits to carry weapons? Why are we allowing these, these weapons of mass destruction to end up in the wrong hands and in the wrong households? Why? Why? You answer that for me. You answer that for everyone. I speak for everyone. It's not an easy topic to, talk, to talk about here. Because the more... I talk and express my feelings, the more enraged I feel, the more anger I get, and I don't want to come off that way. I want to spread a message. I want to get this out. But for those that just logging on to Music Drama TV Radio, we're recapping on what happened in South Carolina in a church with the nine people, beautiful people, that lost their lives for something senseless and stupid. Stupidity. Because one man, Dylan Roof, 21 years of age, decided 
He wanted to play God. He wanted to play almighty. It hurts, right? It burns. But I want to send my condolences out to all the families that lost a loved one that day, that night. All the relatives, and not just them, to everyone that's been losing someone over the past years. I want to send my condolences. Because whether you know it or not, there's people that fill you. We don't have to be family. We don't have to be in the same state. We don't even have to know each other for me to feel how you feel. I feel your pain. And it's my duty. As having this platform to stand on. To voice my opinion. To try to change the world. Before I leave this world. To give the kids of the future something to go back on. To, 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 to create something. To become a leader. But for the ones that's out there. With this mental, this illness mentality and the copycat killers that thinking they're going to repeat this. I got, I want to talk to you. Don't think about it. Pick up a book. Get a hobby. Go fall in love. Become a motivational speaker. Teach, not kill. Add on to the community, not subtract. But I'm not going to take up too much of y'all time. Because I know y'all want to hear the, hear the audio of the family. Of them expressing their feelings towards Mr. Roof. And might I said, there was not one negative feeling. One negative response or reply towards him. But Mr. Roof, you're going to pay for what you did. I wish you no harm amongst no man. But you're going to pay for what you did, sir. Thank you for tuning in to Music Drama TV Radio. I'm your host, B Skills. Make sure you log on to musicdramatv.net. Also, subscribe to me on YouTube, skillsb at youtube.com. Please leave your comments, like, share, and subscribe. Help me help you spread the word. Let's cut out this foolishness. Let's cut out posting all this stupid stuff on social media. Let's post what matters. Let's make videos of what matters. Forget all this foolishness. Forget all these 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 hip hop stars and these celebrities living in the llama. Forget all that. They're not leaders. Okay? If they're not helping building the community and spreading the word, they're not leaders. Stop glorifying and idolizing stupidity. Stop turning social media sites in to ratchetness, stupidity. I'm tired of my fellow brothers and sisters losing their lives. You know, if you keep chopping down trees, there will be no more trees. If you keep killing animals, they will become extinct. What do you think would happen if we keep killing humanity? What do you think? I don't know about you, Mr. Roof. I have a dream. And to everybody else that wants to follow behind Mr. Roof's footsteps, 
We all have a dream. But I always say families. Every family isn't tight. I understand that. But we need to bring back that. We need to bring back that love within our household so we can get more in tune and adapt into our loved ones. And, and, and we need to show more love so people don't feel less love in this world and, and, and think about suicidal thoughts. Think about doing this and doing that. Hurting people because they're hurt. We need to, 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 to communicate more with one another. Less hip-hop concerts. Forget all that. We need motivational speakers. We need leaders. We need to feel that it's okay to raise our child in our community and not become a product of our environment. Little kids these days can't even turn on the TV and watch cartoons without a breaking news flash flashing across the screen. Death here. Killing here. These many people died. War here. That instills in their brains. And it keeps playing over and over and over and they become brainwashed. And it becomes the only thing that they can adapt to in life. The only thing that they know. But let me speak to my government and my leaders. The ones that we pay taxes. The ones that we vote for. The ones that run campaigns with the big promises of changing if we vote for him or her. Help us. This is a no-brainer here. This man is guilty. Hands down. But let's get into this audio. So Lance, would you like to make a statement in regards to this hearing concerning Ethel Lance as a victim now? Yes. Would you like to come forward, please? You are representing the family of Ethel Lance, is that correct? And you are whom, ma'am? The daughter. The daughter. I'm listening. And you can talk to me. I just want to know to you. I forgive you. You took something very precious away from me. I would never talk to her ever again. I would never be able to hold her again. But I forgive you. Have mercy on your soul. You hurt me. You hurt a lot of people. But God forgive you. God forgive you. Thank you, ma'am. And I appreciate you being here. Representative of the family of Myra Thompson. Sir? Would you like to make a statement before this court? Please come forward. Hello. Your name, sir? Anthony Thompson. Mr. Thompson. I would just like him to know that. Speak up for me. I can go here. I'm saying the same thing that was just said. You know, I forgive you, my family forgive you. But we would like you to take this opportunity to repent. Repent. Confess. Give your life to the one who matters the most, Christ. So that he can change it. Can change your ways no matter what happened to you. And you'll be okay. Do that. You will be better off than what you are right now. Thank you, sir. Taiwan Sanders. <coughs> Your
Your name, ma'am? Felicia Sanders. Thank you, Ms. Sanders, for being here. We welcome you Wednesday night in our Bible study with open arms. You have killed some of the most beautiful people that I know. Every fiber in my body hurts. And, and I'll never be the same. Tawanza Sanders is my son, but Tawanza was my hero. Tawanza was my hero. But as we say in Bible study, we enjoyed you, but may God have mercy on you. Thank you, ma'am. A representative of Daniel Simmons. Your name, ma'am? Thank you, Ms. Simmons, for being here. Your statement, please. Although my grandfather and the other victims died at the hands of hate, this is proof, everyone's plea for your soul is proof that they, they lived in love and their legacies will live in love. So hate won't win. And I just want to thank the courts for making sure that hate doesn't win. Thank you, ma'am, for being here. Cynthia Hurd, a representative of the family of Cynthia Hurd. Thank you very much, and thank you for being here today, sir. The Reverend DePayne Middleton Doctor. Your name, please, ma'am? The same, Middleton Brown. Thank you for being here. The same doctor was my sister. And I too thank you on the behalf of my family for not allowing hate to win. For me, I'm a work in progress, and I acknowledge that I am very angry. But one thing the pain has always joined in in our family with is that she taught me that we are the family that love built. We have no room for hate, so we have to forgive. And I pray God on your soul. And I also thank God that I won't be around when your judgment may come with him. May God bless you. Thank you, ma'am. Representative of the Reverend mm -hmm. and Senator Clemente Pinkman. Is there a representative of the Pinckney family here today? Thank you. Mr. Pennington, is there anything else you wish to tell the court? Not at this time, Your Honor. Ms. Wilson, is there anything that you wish to tell the court? Failure again with that process that you don't have authority to set bond on the, the murder charges, so that's why you aren't addressing those. We do have the bond for the one firearms charge. Uh, so regardless of, of what bond you set, the defendant will remain in custody. Thank you for tuning in to Music Drama TV Radio. I'm your host, B Skills. Make sure you log on to musicdramatv.net. Make sure you also make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash skillsb. I want to hear your comments. Make sure you like, share. Let's help spread the word. Let's, let's help build a better community. Let's bring closure to this madness, okay? Life is love. Love is life. I'm out. <laughs>